Well, Super Tuesday tomorrow could operate essentially as the general election for California's open Senate seat. That's because voters in a nonpartisan primary will narrow down the race to two candidates. The big question is, will the general election be between top Democrats, Adam Schiff, Katie Porter, Barbara Lee, two of those, or will Republican former L.A. Dodger baseball star Steve Garvey, who's been surging in the polls, finish in the top two and then almost certainly assure the winner of the runoff will be the new senator? NBC's Jacob Soboroff is with Congresswoman Katie Porter at her campaign headquarters in Irvine, California, with an exclusive interview. Jacob, I don't need to tell you or Congresswoman Porter, as primaries go, this one is incredibly high stakes. This is a very high stakes uh, election, Chris, and, and Congresswoman Porter was nice enough to let us into her private campaign office, so we're, we're grateful for that. Um, before I talk about the campaign, um, I want to talk to you about the news of the day, the Supreme Court ruling that's going to allow former President Trump to stay on the ballot. I was very moved. I think a lot of people in our audience were moved by your story talking about January 6th and being with Representative Ocasio-Cortez sheltering in place. Um, together, I wonder, just given your experience, what your reaction to the news of the day is? Well, I think this is going to weaken trust in the court. This is further politicizing the court. Um, I'm, you know, I think the Supreme Court is corrupt, and that's how most Americans feel and understand it. And this decision is going to further drive that the court is being controlled by a handful of ultra wealthy, very conservative um, folks. And so, look, the Constitution um, is not a political instrument; is an instrument of our democracy writ large. And I think, on its very terms, makes clear that President Trump is not eligible to be on the ballot. You are a, uh, as I mentioned, you're a very familiar face to our audience. You are also um, very popular here in California, as are your two opponents on the Democratic side, Representative Schiff and Representative Lee. What differentiates you? Why should the voters of California pick you tomorrow? Well, I have only been in Congress for five years, and what I've shown in that time is that I do things a little differently. I believe we can change how Washington works, makes it, make it work better for Californians, for ordinary families, for single moms, um, for students. This is a race about the future, not about the past. So the fact that I I've never taken corporate PAC money. The fact that I refuse money from lobbyists. I'm the only candidate in this race who is really living their values, living our little D Democratic um, values about elections. And I think that matters. Let's talk about big D Democrats. You have called uh, a Representative Schiff and his campaign strategy brazenly cynical. And when we talk about why that is, people who are watching from across the country might not understand in California, we have a top two primary system. If two Democrats get the top two votes, they go to the runoff. But Representative Schiff has spent millions of dollars elevating Steve Garvey, a Republican in this race. And now he's at the top of the polls. Um, Representative Schiff's in second in many of them, and you're in third place. Is, are these dirty tricks by Adam Schiff? Is that what you're saying? Well, this definitely weakens confidence in democracy. People who have donated um, to folks, including me or Adam Schiff, um, they want us to use that money to talk about what we're going to do, what it's at stake in this election. Representative Schiff has spent $10, $15 million putting Steve Garvey on TV. Um, and the problem with that is having a Democrat-Republican race. Steve Garvey is, I call it the Schiff gift um, to GOP turnout, to Republican turnout. We are already seeing that in this election, that having Steve Garvey on the ballot will turn out Republicans. That's a big deal for us down ballot and in winning back the House of Representatives. Having a strong Democratic race with two Democrats running all the way through November will give us a chance to talk about the issues that matter to California and how we can change how our politics works. Let's do that. Let's talk about one of the big issues here. Immigration in California is obviously a big issue. The president went down to the border last week. He called on you all in Congress uh, and your colleagues to pass his uh, immigration proposal, that bill. You're against it, as are all the Democrats in the race. So is Steve Garvey on the Republican side. What don't you like about it? Well, I think the bill doesn't address the fundamental issue, which is how do we have an immigration system that makes our economy and our society stronger? I think it's driven by kind of a crisis mentality. Um, and there's no doubt that we are seeing challenges at the border. We're seeing migration challenges all around the world right now. But the truth is we need immigrants coming to this country. We need them as workforce, as our next generation of doctors, our next generation of farm workers, our next generation of child care providers. Um, and so I think the fact that the bill was written by a hand by three people in a closed doors is really what's wrong with Washington rather than having an open debate on the House floor and getting to something that has buy-in from all of the representatives who can then go back home and explain to their constituents why we're taking that approach. Um, before we go, Chris, people out there across the country may not know that uh, California slow counts votes. It could be 30 days before the results of the election are ultimately determined. If this is a close one between you and Steve Garvey and Adam Schiff or, or uh, Representative Lee, if she ends up in the top two, what's your message to people across the country in California who might say, hey, 
hey, I want an, I want an answer tomorrow night about who's going to win that Senate race. No, we want democracy to do the work here. Um, each time I've run, I've had to wait for the ballots to be counted, and that gives me heart. Um, I think we all want our vote to count. And so the fact that we have people who can mail in their ballots, who can drop them off in person um, all the way through 8 p.m. tomorrow, um, it takes time to count those, but that's exactly what we should want. So I'm used to having to wait sometimes a few days, sometimes a few weeks for the race to be called in my favor. All right, Congresswoman Porter, thank you very much. Chris, back to you. Patience is a virtue, guys, in California. Yeah, and let's not kid ourselves. Steve Kornacki never sleeps anyway. Jacob Soberoff, Congressman Porter, thank you both. Appreciate it.